Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to attempt to do a day in the life of a breastfeeding and pumping mom. So, hi, good morning. Good morning. So, around 7 is the last time she breastfed. And so she should be getting hungry anytime soon. She usually wakes up at 9, 9.30. She's awake for about like 30 minutes and then she'll want to eat again. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I usually pump after her second feeding, which is before her nap. Um, I pump about three to four times a day just so that I can take out any extra milk that she doesn't eat during most of her feedings so I can stash it away. Okay, it's 10 o'clock and she's having her first feeding, like I said. She wakes up around 9, 9.30 and she's up for 30 minutes, plays, talks. Is it good? She's also been um, kind of unfocused when she eats. She eats and latches off. She eats and latches off. Um, looks at everything and then continues to eat. I've noticed that around the four month mark. Guys, so I am currently uploading a video. Well, I was because I can't upload and record at the same time because I use my phone to upload. Um, and I got a text message from my fiance and I tried to drag it so I could reply while still being in the app so it wouldn't stop uploading but it got like a little glitch and I accidentally touched it and it went to the text message so it stopped uploading and I was like one little line from it being done being uploaded and I was waiting for that because I wanted to show you guys that I'm about to manually pump my pump parts for my um, electric pump are dirty I'm about to go clean those I'll show you guys how I clean and sanitize those um, so for right now I'm going to manually pump and I was yeah so I guess I'll just show you guys at my manual pump this is my little Medela bottle that I'm going to pump into. I'm about to take my first upspring milk flow fenugreek blessed thistle. You can take them one to two times a day. It says a max of three, which is what I was doing. But as of two weeks now, I've been only taking two capsules a day. One in the day, one in either afternoon or sometimes night. <coughs> once in a while, I still take three. <coughs> wow. Um, I'm, while I'm pumped, I'm going to go ahead and take a natural valley fruit and nut. And then my water is for this and this. So, I'll be back to show you guys how much I pump. Earlier, as you guys saw, I um, manual pumped. And this is all I got in about 7 to 10 minutes. I didn't actually count it this time. But about a 7 to 10 minute manual pump. This is all I got. She really, really did eat everything <laughs> my last pumping session. So, I might have to take another um, supplement pill or just drink some more water. But this is all she left. She probably just ate a lot this morning, but that's all she left me with. I'm about to wash and sanitize her bottles. I'm currently baby wearing her. Cause she's being a little fussy. She's teething. So um, when her little, her, this, this is her favorite toy, or, or teething toy. Her, it's by Nubi, Nubby. When this doesn't work, I gotta go in with this. All right, so first when I wash all my bottles, I like to rinse them out with warm to kind of hot water. As you can see, I just take up, take apart all the pump parts, rinse them all, let them just kind of soak in their little water so everything comes off. I use the Dapple dish washing soap for all my baby um, teething toys, bottles, um, breastfeeding pump parts, pretty much anything, pacifiers, I use um, the Dapple. And so I also use like this little munchkin sponge brush thing and I just give it a really thorough clean to all the bottles and so while I'm cleaning all the parts as soon as I have enough to put in a sanitizing bag I will and I'll show you guys in a second once I rinse all these bottles out ooh, 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 ooh. I should put music over this huh okay so I use a Medela quick clean you get 20 uses out of the bag all you do is you put your, it's super easy, you, you use it in the microwave, yeah, see, so you put, you can use it for so many times. You put all your bottles in there, you take about two ounces, you can read the bag depending on your microwave, depending on, like, um, how many stuff you're putting in there, but I usually put two ounces for my bottles, and then I put two minutes in the microwave. And it's super easy, so while I'm cleaning the other pump parts, these are already sanitizing, multitasking, it's what you gotta do as a mom, so... Here I am cleaning the rest of my Medela bottles and also my pump parts, uh, the little phalange. I always call them phalange and it reminds me of friends and it reminds me of Regina Phalange because I like um, Phoebe. So yeah, oh, uh, see that little hold part? You really wanna grab it from there because this is steaming hot so you gotta be really careful. So once these are out, I just let them air dry on the rack. 
the little baby bottle drying rack and then I go ahead and fill in some more pump pieces put another two ounces put that in the microwave it gets pretty repetitive but um in total for like all these pieces that took me all day to pump I it takes about six minutes of sanitizing and then about five minutes oh see so for my pump parts I save this for, for last because I go in with this little munchkin little brushy tool and I go in in all little crevices because you get milk in there and it gets crusty and it is really gross so you really want to make sure you use all the different they look like keys all the different little keys and just get in there find all the little crusty milk parts I know it sounds really gross but hey it happens so then I'm just gonna dump out the the piping hot water and then put those pieces away and also fill it for the last time with all my pump pieces the like little little pieces like the flanges and the little i forgot what they're called but you guys know what i mean so bam, bam, bam. if you guys like this type of videos definitely let me know i had a lot of fun doing this um it kept me preoccupied all day but i loved it like i felt awesome doing this type of video so if you guys enjoyed them definitely let me know um if you guys want to see more vlogs or more day in the life so do not forget to write off because you get 20 uses, but you want to mark them because you don't want to overuse them. It is 11.37, so 20 minutes early for her next feeding. She eats about every two hours. I'm going to go ahead and see. So it is about 11.40, 20 minutes early for her next feeding. Um, but she's hungry now. She eats about every two hours. Eating for the... I, call it, I, ca I count it as a second time this morning because since she's officially woken up, this is her second feeding. She wakes up around 9, 9.30, is awake for about an hour or two, and then takes a feeding, and then this is the right, Guys, she's done eating, um, and she fell asleep, like I told you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put in her crib. So I'm going to go ahead and pump for the second time. I'm going to go to the kitchen so I can get my pump pots. All right, so here I'm just showing you guys how I assemble my pump parts. It's really easy. There's the bottle, then there's like the little pumping part, then there's this little yellow part that you stick to it. I probably should have learned all the terms for this, but it's really simple and I'm just showing you how you put them together. So here is my Medela double advanced pump and style electric pump. You plug in the core, you take out your tubings, you put the tubings in there, the little yellow part goes connected to your bottles, and then you just stick them on and choose your settings. It's really easy. Ta-da! literally pick the worst day to try to film a pumping and breastfeeding video because i am making nothing right now or she's leaving nothing after breastfeeding this does happen once in a while guys don't get discouraged it just takes longer to make a stash um sometimes your baby just eats a lot more sometimes she leaves an ounce sometimes she leaves almost two and then there's days like this so i'm still gonna put up this video and hopefully i can show you guys me upping my milk supply hopefully by the end of the day i'll be pumping more than this so i'm going to up my water intake i'm going to take the third pill today because i've been taking two maybe that's what's causing this i don't know also i have noticed i've been drinking more gatorade than water so i'm going to up my water intake and see if by the next pumping section we are making more than this but just so you guys know i'm not going to put out a perfect video because pumping and breastfeeding and all of that is not perfect you don't get the same amount all the time your milk supply does fluctuate so don't be discouraged guys all this still liquid gold oh my god i look crazy so it is 12 24 ish around this time i either work out in the morning during her first nap or i work out in the afternoon and i'm saying like that like i've been working out for a very long time I um I tried starting about two weeks ago, then I fell off the wagon, and I'm trying again this week. So we have like a little workout set up out here. We have like a stair master climax thing and a treadmill, and I just been starting off with doing about um 20 to 30 minutes on the treadmill on the inside. And yeah, I'm trying to work out Monday through Thursday. I'm also trying to balance that with filming breastfeeding taking care of my child and partially planning a wedding just to get like a little slow speed walk kind of going and then i start adding the incline so like i was saying during this time i either film which means getting ready while filming or whatever type of video i'm making 
while she's taking her first nap of the day or like I said now I'm trying to either work out during this time which is less hot during the day which is why I decided to do that today and so like I said I'm working I'm working out Monday through Thursday or trying to it's gonna be my schedule Monday through Thursday so since I didn't take a shower yesterday I need to take one today I didn't want to wait till this afternoon to not like not take a shower all day because I'm gonna work out this afternoon kind of thing and I could always take a body shower and then take a full shower but I'm like mm, she's sleeping might as well do this because I still have one yesterday I filmed two videos so and then right now I'm in the process of technically filming another one so technically I have three lined up so I don't have to film today even though it's, I mean makeup video wise <laughs> um uh so yeah I'm probably gonna film another makeup video tomorrow I'm trying to balance find a balance for my channel um I'm gonna start adding I'm fine. trying to find a balance for my channel where I can add makeup videos vlogs which is lifestyle videos and mommy videos so i just uploaded a video earlier today's thursday so so far that's two videos in a row i uploaded tuesday i uploaded thursday i already have a video that i'm editing for um saturday this video should go up next tuesday and tomorrow the one i film should go up next thursday which is another makeup video so we are doing this i am getting scheduled i feel awesome and about the whole wedding part that I mentioned earlier. So, ideally, we want to get married in October. We want to have, like, this small beach wedding ceremony type of thing. This is a stressful part. Um, as you guys probably noticed, we're living with Omar's parents' part at the parents' house ranch at the moment. Um, we want to find our own place. We want to get married. We want to go on a honeymoon. And we're trying to do all this in a budget and a time crunch. That's kind of stressing. So we're trying to figure out where and how we can do this but we've been trying to figure this out for so long that the time is flying by and i don't know if we're going to be able to get married this october we started um officially going out in october and then we got engaged like a couple days before we our date in october and we wanted to get married on the date we got engaged this october but it turns out the people that organize these weddings the one that i want the one that i love their wedding anniversary and 50th birthday is on that same weekend. Like, oh, thanks guys. You're just gonna have the same weekend as me? And so they're not working all weekend. So now I have to schedule another day. Which is why I've been lagging on that. And I have about two months, which is not that crazy. In my head, I'm thinking it's not that crazy because at the end of the day, it might be just the beach ceremony followed by a honeymoon. Or it might be a beach ceremony followed by a small backyard party. Now. If I am going to do the small backyard party, we are on a tighter crunch, which also means we would have to push back our house a little further because that means we would have to get then again an apartment first, which means we might have to push the apartment a little further too. But then I don't want to miss out on that experience. I don't know. If you guys have gotten married or gone through this process, let me know. The also crazy part is I'm crazy attached to my mom. My mom is not here. She's in Texas. I don't want to go wedding dress shopping. I don't want to do anything about my mom here. And she was supposed to come next week, but it turns out she might not come next week. So I was like, I'll get everything figured out next week when she's here. Like I'll feel zen that she'll be here. And then like me and her will plan this all through. But now she's not coming. And I'm trying not to stress because I'm trying to get in a place where I don't know if stress. Because I have like, crazy anxiety attacks and panic attacks well not crazy crazy but okay so kind of crazy um so i'm trying to help this right here you know so i'm trying not to stress i don't want to stress anymore not the way i usually do not the way i usually deal with my emotions which sounds scary i don't like beat anyone up or anything it's just that I, it's not healthy i am done look at all this that's the second time i already wiped my face completely that's pretty gross, but that's good gains, I guess. Do you can you still call it gains if it's not weightlifting? Hmm, I gained a lot of sweat. That's what I gained. If I don't stop eating them hot cheetos, I'm gonna keep gaining that weight too.